Okay, um, what I'd like to do is show you how to factor um, 100 y squared minus x. So first thing, we're going to try to factor this. You know, you always want to look at, see what can you pull out and of each one of these terms. And what I notice is I can't pull out any number out of 100 y six or out of my x squared. There's nothing these two terms share in common. So when I'm looking at factoring, I'm going to want to see, can I write this as a product of two binomials? All right, and remember when you're if you're going to look at this, um, if we think about two binomials, let's think of x minus two and x plus four. Always try to pick something that's going to be easy. Well, remember you're going to multiply these two terms. These two terms give you your first term, right? So I think of what two numbers could I split um, that would give a hundred and y to the sixth. Now, I want to see. Mr. Finger, could you call extension 1001? So what I want to do is I want to see, can I make, can I pick out the same number that make these the same? And I say, well, actually, yeah. What if I picked 10 y cubed? Okay. If you think about that, 10 y cubed times 10 y cubed is 10 times 10 is 100. Y cubed times y cubed. Remember, you add exponents. When you multiply exponents, you add the exponent. So that would give me um, 100 y to the sixth. Then I think about, is there two numbers I could pick that would give me a negative x squared? Well, yes, you could pick a negative x and a positive x. All right? So, and the reason why this works, ladies and gentlemen, is this is what we call a difference of two squares. And the reason why is this is what we essentially call a square. These two numbers, this can actually be rewritten as a square number. The, this um, particularly can be rewritten as 10. Um, y cubed squared minus x squared. So what it's called is here's a square number and here's a square number. So it's a difference of two squares. If I was to FOIL this out, I would get 100 y cubed minus x y cubed um, plus 10 y cubed x and then minus x squared. And what you notice is these two terms is one's negative and one's positive, but they're exactly the same term. So therefore, they're going to cancel out, leaving us just with 100y to the sixth, I'm sorry, 100y to the sixth minus x squared. Okay, so that's how you factor that problem.